Yes, hello. Um, here is Innocent all the way from Serengeti Migration Camp. And um, I'm so, so happy to have what I'll call it a very marvelous, I mean, marvelous day. And on my working days, of course, we had uh, a great day. And uh, it's uh, dusky now. Um, it's almost a very, very uh, a more of a perfect time for birds. Birds are heading back to their nest after the very long day of uh, fetching for food. And of course, for those who are building nests, they had what they had. But on our ways, of course, we had the very great thing, a very interesting thing about a very little insect. And of course, this here is something like a, a, a bit of bow. Of course, it has a bit portioned, I mean, a portion, but it belongs to the very a fascinating insect known as a dung beetle. Uh, and I think today I'm going to speak only about the dung beetle. A dung beetle is mostly uh, a famous beetle in African bushveld. And of course, this is um, the bee, I mean, the dung that we normally see once it's uh, it's been rolled by itself. I've got no that insect at the moment, but I have got this a, a bit of, uh, of of the thing with the small particles, which it has been. I don't know if it's heavy foes that have blocked it, but um, I've got a piece of it here, and of course you can see the very little hole hole of 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 it inside. And I'm going to tell you why. And of course, with several fascinating, I mean, fascinating, fascinating fact about it. Of course, if you speak of the dung beetle, dung beetle uh, has got a very, very uh, important and a very positive important on our ecosystem, of course. And we are in Serengeti at the moment. So this is what we normally see every day. It's always happening once the wildebeest are heading to this side. Once they are here, then this is what we normally sighting every, every day. So, via this, via this uh, dung, here's where they prosper their life. Here's where they get themselves into uh, production. So, get to time. They prefer the most to have uh, dungs from herbivores. If I'm speaking of herbivores, of course, it's simply I'm speaking for those animals who are feeding, are feasting on grasses and some of them in the leaves. So absolutely, here is a product from the herbivores. Feast, I mean, a dung. And it must be maybe a buffalo or a wildebeest. But this is so fascinating. Why? Because they feed on it. So most of the very nutrition that feed them and make them live, I mean alive, or make them survive in this uh, land of Africa, is the nutrition that they they get to they, they get from this dung. I mean from herbivores. Because there are some of uh, different grasses that we have uh, in our ecosystem that favors them after the very slow digestion that it has been taken it might be with the wildebeest or wherever then it takes them a time to 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 to, to release and of course they're surviving via this i mean a dung it's so important once you get to know that you will find a, 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 a very little bug that's ruling this rolling this without knowing their, their ways but why? Because of milk waste, so they know where they go. And of course, the female dung beetle will deposit its egg inside here and leave the, the egg here. Once the egg hatched, then they get a food to survive with. So this is what makes them survive. They're very important in our ecosystem, of course, because they make cleaning of the of the of the animal dung and of course rotating them back to the soil that's why we have a very 
very delicious grasses around. So with those very few words, of course, I am so, so excited to welcome you to the very uh, part of the southern part, I mean, the southern uh, part of the ecosystem. Of course, this is Ndutu. And welcome to Siringit Migration Camp. We love you very much. Thank you, and thank you again.